Hmm. What's this? Hey, V. A truck hauling cyberware crashed in the Badlands. It's top-grade chrome, but the NCPD's not in much of a hurry. Tells me they suspect the cyber psycho's the cause, and it's got them spooked. Check it out, but no killing if you can help it. River. V, hey, I need your help. Sounds like it. What happened? I shouldn't talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. When and where? Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? Do my best. Thanks, V. Till then. Hey, 
This ain't over, you know. Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. Project BD. Oh, yeah. What's up? We've got a crisis on our hands. Could really use your help. Stevenson's had a breakdown. Nothing any shrink can do about it. Can you come here to the studio just to talk to him? Fine, sure. On my way. He said he'll come. Thanks, V. Rachel's been waiting for you. Well, some people didn't like the idea of recording somebody's agony row. Bunch of killjoys, that's all. Billions are gonna watch the brain dance. Studio's not afraid of a scandal, getting caught up in it. Are you kidding? Scandal's what they live for. I'd be out there too if I could be. But I got a family to look after, and the job's what it is. What's going on? Joshua, all right? Don't fucking know, don't fucking care. Get in there. Where do I go? Straight down this street, building with the officer out front. Thanks. you look more, I don't know, professional? Whatever. Get in. Don't worry, Olga. We'll fix this. Trust me. We'll be on schedule. Help's on the way. Finally. We're late. Stevenson's been asking for you all day. He's in his dressing room. Go talk to him. to see me I wanted you by my side when my soul departs this world I have no friends no family only strangers as my company still uh, set on scroll in this brain dance I am more determined than ever got pure intentions I know but you're putting them to waste doing this something like this 
Just not worth you dying for it. It's too late now. There's, there's no going back. I, I am so afraid. Will you pray with me? A prayer of your choice. Fine. Sure. Our Father, who art Our in Father, heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy on will earth be done as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this bread. day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into and temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us, but from, deliver evil. us from evil. Amen. Amen. Time to start. Let's go. I truly hope Zuleika is praying for me now. Will you stay with me? To the end, I would like you to wield the hammer. Nail me to the cross. All right, Joshua. I'll do it. <gasps> Thank you. <sighs> Let's do this. You're gonna have to say some lines, a few. We'll put them up on the prompter for you. Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and save us. Do you not fear God? You stand condemned under the same sentence. They know not what they do. We are punished justly, for we receive what our deeds deserve. But this man has done no wrong. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. I say to you, 
Today you will be with me in paradise. Father, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. Amen. Probably my hardest gig, that, but I got through it. What now? Going home, where I'll sleep for two days straight. Be in touch about your compensation soon. You shouldn't release the BD. The world shouldn't see it. That's not up to you, that's not up to me. I'll call you. Thanks. Good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, we're talking oh, about the cornerstone of my platform. Exactly. I'm not doing a U-turn just because night court. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. 
NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security look into this. Say anything. This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see her hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? No clue yet. Anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Let me show you around. We shouldn't delay too long. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office, control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. <laughs> Tide bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true, Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. 
Her studies took her abroad. Oh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. Jefferson, you've come a long way. To get from Haywood all the way here, it's no easy thing. Yes. If you aren't born with a silver shard, your chances are slim. And if you're born in Haywood, they're almost non-existent. pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so I ordered a whole truckload. <laughs> blue roses? What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Jeff's? Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the patriarch? Probably.
fresh fruit. Tasty by the looks of it. Looks like it's been enhanced. What have we got here? Glutamine, noradrenaline, dopamine, serotonin. All neurotransmitters. Know anything about this? Fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. Bored. Powerless. Not anymore. Experience all of the magic or six. It was a sick out. And makes it up. Looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. Broken. Just happened a second ago. You didn't see it? No. Okay, never mind. safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy. The sure sons make of bitches. Under my own tagging. roof. Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious. That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice. Okay. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run.
text practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short-range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision of the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitter's within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter, and I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. We take the wheels, V. That van could give us a slip any second. to the hardware. My optics don't see any manufacturer info or detect any mods. You're gonna lose them if you don't pick up the pace. 
What are they doing? What are they hiding? Don't lose them, ear jacket. Oh, now you're interested. Huh. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what.
Kirsted were in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. I mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm-hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. gonna want to sit down for this. It's, uh, it's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait, not on the hollow. Right, I'll come by. No. You and I, we need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Thank you for coming. Cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one-on-one. -on -one. Here we are, then. What is it? I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago since we last met? Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality, he seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. 
Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they are changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. Well, that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it destroy him. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz. I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. You wanted everything just to go on and flow on because it was convenient. Convenient? You got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like, living like this. Damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. Be truly prepared to fire SSI. After the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room... I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. That's all I can promise. 
Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No, this is different. You saw it yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Perales make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush. You name it. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. City of opportunity. Show me.